Kreuzer, welcome, it's good to see you. Welcome here to St Mary's Conwy. Like many ancient churches, the walls are covered with memorials to important, powerful people, not least members of the Holland family, who for many generations produced the vicars for this church. But amidst all the traces of the powerful and the rich, there are also reminders of the whole of medieval society, not least in the graffiti on these choir stalls. In the 500 years and more since they were created uh, to go along with the rude screen as a memorial to the engagement of Arthur Tudor to Catherine of Aragon, lots of people have left their mark carved into the wood, just as at one time the walls would have had graffiti too, now obliterated in the modern tenders to see churches as rather sterile and something we wouldn't dare to put a mark upon. Here there are games uh, and ships, and here there are initials and full names. There are marks supposed to guard us against evil, and there are marks to show that somebody made a promise or began a journey, hoping to return safely. I love how down to earth that is, and I love the fact that just as we continue to welcome here to St Mary's, this is a church for everybody, not just the important and the powerful, and certainly not just for vicars. And as I was looking at this graffiti, it reminded me of a beautiful verse in the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 49. Isaiah hears God say to his people who are feeling abandoned and forgotten that God is like a nursing mother, like someone who gave life. And if even a human mother can sometimes let us down, God never will. And God says through Isaiah, your name is engraved on the palm of my hand. I don't know how you are today. I don't know what you're going through or what the people you love are going through. But I think it's a wonderful thought that you are not forgotten. And even if faith is something you find difficult or elusive, God has not forgotten you. You are eternally written on the palm of his hand by the love of his son, Jesus Christ. When a priest is ordained or when they start a ministry in a new place, often holy oil is used to bless their forehead, but also their hands for the work that lies ahead. Indeed, I once went to an amazing church plant where the whole congregation had oil placed on their hands to say, you're all part of this new ministry in this new place. Well, I've got some holy oil here and I'm gonna mark on my hand your name. I want you to, in this moment, if you wish, just be quiet and believe that God is taking your name, all of your hopes and dreams, your unique and beautiful identity, whether other people understand you or not, and writing it on the palm of his hand as I write with this oil on my hand now. Gwydion, let us pray. May God hold you in the palm of his hand. May you never be forgotten. May his love sustain you in every season of your life and help you to do his work and be his love in the world. And then, O Christ, in the name of Christ. Amen.